Folks, welcome aboard. It's Saturday night. You know what that means. It's time for Murder Hobo Inc. And as from the faces you see in front of you, it's campaign night. They are in Yaddle looking around for the entrance to the crypts. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want cool stuff, the link's down below. If you want to chat with us in Discord, the link's down below. Uh, most importantly, if you want to jump in, grab a seat on one of our games or on our talk show, go ahead and hit us up, mhobo inc at Twitter and or Gmail. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, for giving me high rollers. That always helps, especially in the campaign. And uh, that one's just ugly. Get that piece of crap off. It's beautiful. <laughs> Don't you don't you knock her dice? Uh, it, it rolls high. That's why I knock it. Uh, and certainly, uh, let us not forget oddfishgames.com. Oddfish Games for a lot of your gaming uh, enterprises, including Adventure Sense. If uh, your game stinks, covered up with Adventure Sense. Uh, we at Adventures in Phil Bar have two games coming at you for Gen Con next week. They are both full. My apologies. Uh, Oddfish Games has three uh rpg settings uh to rpg with your cat two of them are sold out one of them is getting close so if you had nothing else to do saturday at 4 p.m uh check them out put in sphinx in your search bar on gen con uh they last an hour i'm still checking with my players to see if we're going to be broadcasting friday and saturday night uh if everybody's happy we will if uh somebody's not we won't we'll just have to give you a recap uh, that being said, let's get on with the introductions. Chris, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, my name's Chris. I am playing Manise, the Eric Hopper cleric. And, well, we'll see if I die this time. I've been boasting that I haven't been dying lately, so I think Frank's got it out for me. <laughs> we have a dungeon tonight, so, or likely, if we get there. So, yeah. yeah we'll we haven't see. been dying because we haven't been fighting. Now yeah, that we're fighting, you. you're going to be dying. That's true. <laughs> that. Uh, next up is Kyle. Kyle, who are you and who are you playing? Is he even? Li He's listening. Is He's he? just being a fucktard. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, the game is for mature audiences only. <laughs> if you haven't picked that up, yeah. Gone. I knew it. Hey, Kyle. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What, what are the odds he has his dice ready? Oh, um, no dice. For sure there's no dice. No dice. Oh, 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 dice. <laughs> uh, just oh. no character Thank sheet. you. Yes. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kyle. I play Dewey Doc Mill uh, tonight. And um, um, <laughs> guys, I'm really tired. Oh, God. We're fucked. Yeah, uh, oh, no, just, I'm tired let's too. just I'm going say that. Hours. Oh, oh uh, no. uh, uh, well let's then, we is close to killing everybody. <laughs> That'll happen day three. Uh, Tara or Taryn, Carol, who who are you and who are you playing? Well, my real name is Carol, and he spoiled who I was playing. But if you've been paying attention, oh, yeah, you right. all know who I'm playing. I'm playing Taryn, my Elvin. Of Elvin Bard, um, Mistress of Song, <laughs> and, and the flute. The time again, uh, Master we'll Joke Teller. Yeah, no, 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 no. Even <laughs> I know I'm a terrible joke teller. She's probably better than me, if I recall. I actually did roll a really good performance check on those jokes. They just weren't good jokes. Ooh, that's ooh. Uh, joke. uh, uh, a Catholic priest walks into a hotel. Checks into his room and says to the front counter lady, I trust that my porn is disabled. She says, No, it's regular porn, you sick fuck. <laughs> Heard that before. <laughs> Last but not least, Ernest. Ernest, who are you and who are you playing? Ooh, so I'm <laughs> Ernest and I'm playing Lucas the Anti Druid. Tonight we're going to see how well a, a giant cave bear will function in a tiny catacomb. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, folks, in case you haven't been following this, uh, these guys are attempting to get part two of an ancient artifact known as the Rod of Catching. Uh, they are trying to get the staff portion of it here in Yaddle, rumored rumored uh, to be in the catacombs here. Uh, in prior episodes, they have discovered that Yaddle, a coastal town, is under a naval blockade by ships from Fulton, a not quite nearby city. Uh, and the harbor has been blockaded because apparently Fulton doesn't want ships going in and out, <coughs> which is weird because who the fuck cares what Fulton thinks. Uh, the, some of the party has had to wheel and deal with the riffraff outside the doors, uh, probably spray painting it like fuck the Buffalo police uh, and other things. But all four of these guys and ladies have managed to reach inside the perimeter of Yaddle where they located Lucas meandering around sometimes as a cat, sometimes as a bird, sometimes as himself. Uh, and they, I think they were in the temple of Fortuna testing their luck when they discovered Lucas and uh, a bunch of, shall we say, hardworking gals that Dewey paid off to stop annoying the shit out of them, much to the chagrin of Taryn the Bard, who is cheap. <laughs> well, it's not that. I just don't feel they earned that money. So. Cheap. <laughs> they didn't earn it yet. I don't like extortion, and that's what they were doing. Oh, yeah. Um, Women power. Extortion. Uh, we rejoin the group in the central plaza of Yaddle, just outside the government building, just outside the Temple of, of Fortuna, just outside another temple where Lucas shall not return. And they are trying to find the Shrine of Icus, uh, where allegedly uh, a catacomb entrance is present. Also on the docket is... Uh, determining whether or not Alvin Knackle is around? Yeah, no. He's uh, doing some research <laughs> in the Shrine of Icus. Right. I'm sure he's around. I'm sure that's what it is. Uh, so, uh, it's a little bit after noon on day two. You'll find out why that's so important later. Uh, uh, what did you guys want to do? I believe we were headed towards the Shrine of Icus because we do have somebody with a map yep. who knows where it is. Who is that? A, a rough map. For oh, me. yeah. That's right. That's me. It is number eight. You guys are headed uh, through the plaza at this point in time. I will take suggestions on which direction you want to go. Do you want to stay on the main roads or do you want to carve through the alleys? Alleys. Let's do alleys. <laughs> also, did you do you mess up the Twitch stream by doing a share screen? I uh, know it bothers the producer, but uh, nice. Uh, but <laughs> once I kill off the screen share and the purple penis that I'm assuming Dewey is drawing, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it will return to normal. <laughs> there we go. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Everybody's a fucking comedian tonight. <laughs> 47 war elephants are moving through this alley. <laughs> uh, I okay. fly away. <laughs> these guys. I grab his knees. I fly away as well. <laughs> Uh, followed by Manicor uh, coming in. Uh, as you guys start to wind through the alley, you see a bunch of vagrants <clears throat> and beggars all asking for coin, coin. You see a few strumpets and ladies of the evening, as well as a few squinty-eyed, nefarious-looking types. Uh, you are going through a general area, which means general businesses, uh, some low, some medium section. Uh, you can smell... Baked bread, uh, soup, uh, meats, uh, a little bit of charcuterie going on around here. You also smell the putrid odor of a tanner. Uh, as you move through there, uh, let's go Terran D12 against me. Oh, lucky me. What the hell's my D12? Eight to start the night. Oh, nice there it is. Average. 
Wow, that dice really rolled. Hey, that's a 12 on the pirate dog dice. Uh, as you guys uh, cut through one of the alleys, an individual steps out. Hey, do you mind if I blah, 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 blah? Uh, but you manage to skirt past this uh, olfactory offensive individual and continue on. You are now on a main drag. You can cut through another alley or go through the busy and crowded streets. Your choice. Allie. Now we can stick to the app. If it's quieter, sure. Lucas, do you How far nice. away are we from the, 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 the crazy man who tried to kill everybody? Oh, he's on the other side of the plaza. Yeah, he's behind the other shrine. That okay, shit so in. we still got a ways to go. I got uh -huh. a 10. Uh, I got a 1. So, uh, no roof tiles, no urine dispensary points. Uh, no disease-filled hermits. Uh, you break out onto the main plaza, and there at the five-point crossroads... One, that two, looks like an anus. Five, uh, <laughs> there is a building that has seen better days and currently has several guardsmen out front of it, but you can tell it is the Shrine of Ickes because that is what it says over the portal but you also notice uh there's some recent damage and in your previous scenario uh you discovered that the uh workers and craftsmen's guild have a bounty on the head of the people who have been destroying or uh, damaging buildings to wit including uh, the shrine of icarus as you approach the guardsmen give you no notice whatsoever and just kind of eyeball you and then go about this standing right in the road. Uh, would you like to speak with these two or head into the shrine? I want to find some damage and use my mending cantrip and start like healing the, the broken facade. Uh, some of the pillars out front have seen better days. Some appear to be held together by nothing more than bird droppings. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take up uh, the next five minutes or so and, and mend I'll, I'll let everyone take a breather while I do this while Lucas is doing that did you guys want to uh, watch his uh, Banksy-esque work or go inside uh, I'll talk go to inside. the Sarah. split the party you get your, no, 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 you guys really see something. hope you don't go too far inside yeah that's just, what she said Manise are you going in or staying out I will answer that in two seconds. <laughs> I am going in. Okay. Uh, going in, you notice some extensive damage inside of the shrine. The clerics have formed a, for lack of a better term, picket line, and they are trying to remove an excessive, excessive amount of stones as the ceiling itself has collapsed in crushing the monument dedicated to Ickes and has strewn rubble all over the place. Uh, they take a moment it, uh, from their toiling work, wipe their brows, and inquire, what may we do for you, beloved friends of Ickes? Did everyone get out alive? Sadly, no. <laughs> we have yeah. lost our head priest. Oh, we didn't know that, but we knew that somebody had died, I think. I will fill his place. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to die? <laughs> Is yeah. I gonna fill his place? Uh, yes, the head priest... Uh, is somewhere underneath this rubble and we are trying to dig him out. You notice that the acolytes here are not exactly physically fit and it's going to take them a great deal of time. Considering the amount of rubble, it is going to take the next several days at least. Uh, Lucas, you have finished mending the bird shit damage outside. You walk in to notice that mending isn't going to help a lot here. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of crap. That is unfortunate. Uh, they uh, ask if you would uh, want to uh, help them toil away, removing the debris and hopefully finding their head priest. Uh, guys, we help them. Maybe they'll help us into the catacombs. Catacombs? I'm not oh. there. I'll give you a it, thumbs up. It, we do have the entrance to the catacombs, but uh, 
It's behind the rubble. Is that what you're trying to signal? Under the rubble. <laughs> Under the rubble. All right, let's help them out, guys. Are they like not strong because they're injured slash like exhausted, or is it just in general because they're like you know because they're cleric nerds? Yeah, oh, okay. they they uh, they have very poor strength scores, and they have been working for the past two days. Got it. Let's see if I have anything. How long would you like to spend uh, toiling in the Shrine of Ickus? They have wine, by the way. I, I would like to help toil until the catacombs are uncovered or it's nightfall, whichever comes first. Or a little uh, bit before... Be nightfall for sure. <laughs> uh, I, I should say a little bit before the uh, curfew so we can make it back to the hotel first. Uh, can we the... find a new hotel nearby? I, I was going to say, only you, Lucas, have a room. Yes, and I paid for this night, guys. I'll let everyone know. Hey, I have a hotel room, and I have a spare bed in my hotel. No, I don't. I have a spare bed in my hotel room. I'm just going to let them know that. And I paid for tonight already. Uh, so we can go back whenever. Well, let's help these guys out. Yeah, That's first. So I turn. Do you know, Did Al is Alvin Knackle under there? Or is he in, uh, in nearby? D12 against me. D12 against you. I have all the dice, but that one. Nine. Uh, I'm not familiar with Brother Knackle. Is he uh, a member of our religion? Uh, no, no. He, 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 he's a scholar. Uh, he's a library for the, the library of... Uh, shit, I forgot the goddess I follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally uh, prepared, man. Uh, Dewey's mentor, uh, Samuel Witt. I don't have your goddess either. It starts with an A. No, you're from Andorra. Uh, I, I, yeah, the Library of Andorra. And give me a uh, charisma check, Dewey. Let's see how they like uh, you Andorans. <laughs> oh, lovely. Those blue skin freaks. Yeah. 14. <clears throat> are you part of the militant group that are killing everybody in your nation or are you one of the good guys I was with the library so were the individuals here a few days ago oh oh huh? oh yeah I haven't been in the library yet uh, 10 se years. Several of your cohorts, uh, your countrymen were here, uh, and they gave us a poor taste of their countrymen, I suppose. They also were looking for the crypts, but they did not mention this knackly person you speak of. But he would be a gnome as well? We assumed as such. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. But there hasn't been anyone coming into the catacombs to study? Or there's no gnomes underneath the rubble? We haven't seen any gnomes until we saw your countrymen the other day. Where'd they go? Uh, they went to talk to... I have this one written down. Nice. I will write it down as well. They I... went to talk to... Not Duke Ellington. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a real person, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know Duke Ellington. I, I thought there was a Duke Ellington in this. There was a Duke Ellington, but I think that was a different Duke Ell or different person that I don't know if the gnomes are actually talking to a Duke Ellington. They were uh, seeking out Lord Hamus, the treasurer of our fine city, in order to be granted access to the catacombs. Access to the catacombs are restricted. Why? That's where dead people go. There have been a lot of grave robbings here lately. And with the uh, spread of the virus slash disease, uh, we usually just burn the dead now and throw them over the wall. Okay, but there's no gnomes in the catacombs right now. 
Not that I am aware of. Okay. Wait. But yes, you, you would need uh, authorization before you're allowed into the catacombs. But if you help us, I think we might be able to make an exception. I, what I'm, were the gnomes okay. wearing? Uh, they were wearing uh, dark tunics. We believe one of them pipes up. They were with the dark elf lady. Oh. Slymenstra or something. If I describe, I forget what the order. I I have a bunch of index cards Sensua? everywhere. Sensua? No, not Sensua. Oh. No, the cult oh. of Sensua isn't gnome. The cult of the guys who like to destroy information. Correct. That would be them. Okay. Do you recall what the name was? I have it written down, but it's uh, on a different paper that I have. Ain't that the truth of everything? Okay. We'll assume that's who I'm talking about. Uh, yes, they, uh, they, they were inquiring and they were rather rude individuals, uh, but they went off to go speak with Lord Hamus uh, to see if they could gain entry, uh, and we have not seen them. You don't have any books or scrolls here, do you? Why, yes. You might want to check and make sure none of them have gone missing. You don't want those gnomes in here. They like to destroy that shit. Nice. Uh, so I am a gnome. gnome. How no, I am a gnome. Oh, you are a gnome. I'm yeah, a gnome. I am a gnome. Okay. How many of you are going to help uh, try and clear the rubble? I, I will, I will okay. once get in there. Being a cleric, I think it would be like expected of me. True. It is a competing religion. Everybody uh, give so. me D12 and just tell me your totals, please. 12. D12. That's a good start. Nine. 11. I'm still not in there. I'm still waiting to talk to the guards. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right. I was going to say, I think somebody forgot. Yes, uh, I did. I thought you came in. No. And we were just ignoring you, Carol. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, the guards are just hanging out. I could say I could say that I came in during part of that, so that we don't have to rehash all that uh, inf all that uh, info that we just got. Um, so, so wow, that is a lot of damage. I go, good day to you, sirs or man. I don't know if it's a lady or man or both or what. We have for guards. Are you assuming my gender? Uh, one, of oh. one of each. Rude. All right. Uh, good day, fine people. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hey, the maxi. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. What can we do for you? Well, maybe it's what we can do for you. What happened here? That's a lot. Do you have a mouse in your pocket, ma'am? <laughs> what do you mean? Those three went inside, and you no. said we. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. The other. I have three companions that went in. Ah. Um, what happened? What do you? Are you usually stationed here, or are you just here today, or do you know what happened? I'm waiting for the uh, ale winch to come by. She and I have a thing. <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. But I mean, were you here when this all this damage happened? Uh, yes, I was. What did you? What caused it all? That's extensive to a building made out of, I assume, made out of stone, right? I can't. They, bo they both were present. Ah! Wow. Rumors vary. Uh, we were over at the diner on the far corner uh, and the roof collapsed. Uh, after we finished our meal, we came over to investigate. You didn't see anybody running away from the building, or? I had a pastrami on rye that was heavenly, so uh, no, I did not Perfect. notice anybody running. All right, so they didn't go by. Yeah, you didn't know if anybody run by or, or where you were eating. Nope. Uh, you, can, you can tell by the slovenly appearance of the male that uh, if he had uh, pastrami on rye, he was focused on the pastrami on rye. What about the lady? 
I'm asking both of them. So right. Uh, well, you'll t you can tell that the guy is older and probably senior to her, so he's going to do most of the talking. Uh, but when you address her, she points oh. out that she heard some rumor uh, that there were some nefarious individuals that have been causing damage to several buildings, and we are currently on the hunt for them. Don't worry, citizen. We have this under wraps. The cultists of Sensua will be stricken from the area. Oh, that's who you think they are. Interesting. Uh, um, <laughs> all right, so, but how did they, of course, I guess you two weren't actually here to see how this actually happened. That's a lot of damage by, I mean, what, magic? What did they, how did they blow up? How did they dance? The, the male up? pushes you out of the way and goes, hello, how are we doing today? I'm How's that ale? That ale's pretty good. She likes me. <laughs> I like to snicker because she obviously didn't like pay any attention to him. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. It's hard to get. Ah. Uh, it, she, she certainly is. Um, how is this? But you have to said you have no idea how this, all this damage. What did they do to cause all this damage? Because to me, that is a lot for her. anybody, unless they have some pretty good magical means to do it. Are there scorch marks or anything like that or anything telling? Not asking them. <laughs> That's how I would do it. <laughs> uh, I, do you want to go investigate for scorch marks? Yeah, once I'm done talking to them, well, do they have any other info? Did they find any clues? Did you find any clues? Uh, uh, that's classified. Classified. Hmm. Well, we were given, we, we took on this job, and I'll pull out the, the leaflet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you citizens here? Yeah, sure. Do you want to make a bluff check on that one? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do deception. Oh, that's good. 23. Okay. Uh, I took the job. Rips the paper out of your hand. <laughs> they're, hiring, they're hiring people to find out who did it. In case you didn't realize that. They probably did it themselves for the wow factor. You know how those guilds are. They build shit. So, you know, if everything's full, you got to break shit. So, you know, it's probably I, the guilds. I think yeah. it's the guilds. I've been doing this a lot, a long, long time there, Missy. I, I'm thinking it's the guilds. All right. That's fair. And I look at the lady and I go, what about you? Uh, her companion gives her a sideways glance and she's like, could be the guilds. Who do you think it is? I don't think any make it, you know. Uh, okay, citizen, oh. move along, move along. We have important henchman business to do. <laughs> Fine. I, t I look at her and I'm like, if there's anything else you want to tell, if there's anything else either of you want to be helpful with, we'll be inside. She's and got a husband, lady. Move on. She's not interested. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's smart enough to figure out what I mean, even if he is. I'm sure she probably is. All right. I will go and investigate. I'll take a look around the outside for any telltale marks or clues or whatever. Two investigate uh, rolls. Uh, Manise, Dewey, and Lucas give me two d20 rolls straight up. Yeah. And uh, well, 13 and 11. A 2 and a 19. A 19 and an 8. <laughs> a 10 and a 1. Nice. Oh. That one's course, not going to bite you. In the course of moving shit around... Where is my D8? Oh, Do you drop a boulder on your foot? Uh, you and Dewey both do. Oh, because my two? Oh, oh. Yep. Uh, Lucas takes three. Dewey takes six hit points worth of damage. Terran on the left side, a.k.a. closest to the docks, you notice an unusual fissure up one of the support pillars on the side of the temple. Uh, you aren't quite sure, but it looks acidic in nature. On the right side, opposite the dock area, you notice another fissure, but it 
doesn't appear unusual. It appears damaged by age. Manise, you can laugh at both Dewey and Lucas as their heaving of boulders causes them damage. Except for Dewey, he damaged himself and one of the acolytes who is oh. going to have to leave because he now has a broken leg. I, uh, I, I heal the acolyte. I... You're like Jeebus. <laughs> yeah, so do do I need to roll to see if it's effective? Uh D8 plus two is fine. I'm oh, sure not, I'm sure it'll yeah. be effective. Not a cure wounds. Yeah, you can do cure wounds. Okay, I'll use my cure wounds. And that is six plus spell casting modifier. Do 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 plus seven. Thirteen hit points. Thank you, Mr. Dillon. I feel much better. He still has a little shimmy in his gait, though. Uh, you guys can continue on with the removing of the rocks. Taryn, are you going to come in? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. I probably came in during part of that because it would have taken me that long to talk to them. And then unless it took me a while to investigate and find that. It would have because you were circumventing the entire <laughs> thing. Everybody, D12 for me, please. Okay, sure. Uh, that's a seven. 11. 10. 3. Uh, all four of you roll a d20 straight up. Natural 20. 10. Oh. 12. Well. <clears throat> Nobody drops anything this time. Uh, you guys are making pretty good headway. The acolytes are uh, really responding well to you, especially since... Lucas has taken time to go ahead and heal one. Everybody roll perception. 16. I do. 15. Like, is perception? Okay. 15. I hear my thing's being bad. All right, perception. Uh, 15. <laughs> Excuse me. Everybody hears a, a loud noises and screaming. You look out the main doors, and you see a lot of people running towards the dock area. The acolytes are intrigued. Are you guys? Yeah, I am. Yeah, screaming <laughs> towards the water, running towards the water. Huh? Should I? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm intrigued. <laughs> uh, as you head off towards the front door with the acolytes, one of the acolytes spots somebody that they know, and they said, "What's going on?" I heard one of the the blockade ships is coming into port. And he pulls away from the acolyte and takes off running towards the dock. <gasps> Lord Bushmill. Uh oh. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> He'd be on one of those ships. He was on horseback when we last saw him. I imagine he'd be coming with his, uh, his uh, army of troops. The acolytes look at you guys and say, We need to take a break. This is going to be important. This is going to be really important. And all the acolytes head off down the street following the mob. What do you guys want to do? I mean, I'm... I think Lucas is casting lightning bolt. <laughs> how, 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 how could you tell? <laughs> what? <laughs> what blockade ship? That one sinking right there? About 100 feet away? <laughs> I'm not against this. <laughs> I am. I want to. I want to get in the catacombs and get out. Have we cleared the? And that's why I was like, yet? I sure want to dick around with them, or and we maybe we should just keep cleaning up so we can get the frick in there. You know what? Is there any Split way we can get the there? party? Is everybody Split the party? Oh, no. they left. The the entrance is unguarded right now. The entrance is under rocks. <laughs> under rocks. Yes. <laughs> so we, yeah, we you had a lousy investigation roll, lady. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can get three people under those rocks if they want. <laughs> yeah, do we have a way to get there? We, yes. no one, we can uh, just... He wants to turn you into gaseous form. I can get three people under those rocks. Not me. But if I'd you really want to go useless. in there and see how far it goes. I'll just split the party and I'm stuck in a catacomb by myself. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. It's your no gaseous form. Nothing can hurt you in that form. Wait, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Says the voice of death. 
cast it twice. I can cast it three times. <laughs> oh, it's only one. There's not a heightened version where you can get more people. I don't know. No, that there's not. Um, I just have three spell slots at their what level. About, what about? Could you turn yourself into something that could get through the rocks and put gaseous form in the three of us? I could turn into like a mouse or something. Yeah, and then we can all go. Until he realizes he can't fit through a small opening as a mouse. Then yeah, turn yourself into. Comes a back. <clears throat> It's gonna be something you turn. <laughs> just, just so you know, a lot of people are headed towards the docks. Right. What uh, is uh, 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 the yaddle? This world's form of dynamite explosive. Is there a potential of planting something? Boom! Clearing out a little bit faster. I would imagine that Taryn would have that information from her investigation, not lightning bolt. <laughs> Fireball? <laughs> I'll tell them that whoever, one of the things I found was they, use acid, they used acid. I don't have acid. That's what I mean. Do we have any spells or anything where we can move a large quantity of stuff quickly? Um, no. Muscles. That's not going to be Little quick. known muscles. So can we <laughs> infer about how much more time it would take to clear the rubble to get to the catacomb entrance? At your current rate, at least four more hours, which would put you past curfew. <laughs> four more hours past curfew. Is there a front door to this tomb or the shrine that can be closed? Uh, no, it is open. It is an open. You want to barricade it. Well, I was thinking if we slipped some of the acolytes some money and be like, hey, we're going to stay past dark. Do you mind letting us house here past curfew? And then like just. That's a good idea. It's but all the yeah, acolytes are gone. The there. All the acolytes are gone. All right. Well, whatever. I don't That's really. Care to I, I mean, I'm sure they'll come back before four hours are up. True. <clears throat> Unless, <throat> like, the ship gets lightning bolted, started to sink, and the entire town has to save everybody. And we have to flee the town, which would defeat the purpose. So I'm going to wait to lightning bolt things until after we're ready to Besides, go. Besides, are we supposed to be heroes, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. Heroes is just no, no. a title. That, that was episode one of the campaign after that. Yeah, it's totally... Everything went to shit. <laughs> so your right. choice. Uh, you can hang out and keep uh, digging away, or you can see what all the brouhaha is at the dock. I, I, mean, I want to keep moving the rocks. Which is... Same. A uh, block and a half away. I'm okay. fine with staying and not getting near any ship from Fulton. So, Manise, uh, you want to <laughs> stay and uh, do it? Sure, that works. Uh, <clears throat> they uh, go. Everybody, go ahead and give me your D12 rolls, and everybody, give me your D20 rolls. Oh Lord! Six, eight, eleven, and twelve, and twelve. Uh, Oh, no, that's a double digit. Uh, 12. Six and then five. Oh, no. Uh, that hour is successful. Uh, you guys are making some headway here. Uh, you've still got a ways to go, but okay. Uh, at the end of this hour, uh, you notice people are starting to filter back. Ah, damn it. I knew we weren't going to get that done in time. Hey, hey uh, Maniz or Carol, can you go ask someone passing by what, what happened out at the docks? Sure. I'll do that. All right, oh. cool. Actually, you know what? Karen would probably be better because my charisma is garbage. Yeah, <laughs> she's a bard. I also have um, I also have expertise in things like that. Okay, go ahead. So, I'm going to keep moving these rocks. Sure. Let, me, let us know what you find, Carol. <laughs> I mean, Taryn. Sure. So, Taryn, you go outside? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's a group of people headed this way. You want to flag them down? Yeah. Hey, hello, hello. They take one look at you, and a look of fear crosses their face, and they cross to the other side of the street. <laughs> Insight check? Sure, go ahead. I don't know if I could get anything. Why would they be afraid of me? Because um, you're covered in dirt and grime and stuff for moving the rocks, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, right. Uh, insight. So I'll say you with... probably don't look like yourself right now, I would imagine, with all oh, the dirty grime. I, I always look awesome, even when I'm like dirty. Uh, that would be with my 20 charisma. 
What is it? Insight, right? That'd be 15. God, brains are working. Okay. They are. Is it me personally? You're the only one out there. <clears throat> Good news Never... is another group of people are headed this way. I'll not be so crazy flagging them down and I'll, sure. I'll wait till they get close to me and I'll be like, hi, citizens. What's up? Uh, and they take off running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll give you a hint. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't have to give me the hint. I've got the hint. I, and I wasn't... I need the hint. What's going on? <laughs> uh, Lucas, Maniz, and Dewey are still inside chucking stones. You want to tell them that you aren't having much success or keep trying to fly? You know what? You ought to just tackle one of these fuckers and bring them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd do. Uh, let me look at my spells here. Oh, I good. Yes. Use spells on them. Yeah, I don't have charm person anymore. <laughs> so I will cast the sky itself and I'll look like somebody. I'll make myself look like an alkalite here. Oh, okay. All right. And then I will go burn in the spell slots. Then I will step out and I will wave somebody down. <laughs> yes. Religious person who I do not know. What do you need? What's going on? What, what happened at the docks? We heard there was a ship coming. We decided to stay and keep cleaning up here because, oh my God, the damage is so terrible. Ah. Uh, what well, happened? you missed it. One of the ships came in, and it was uh, General Nocta from Fulton, and she ended up beheading a bunch of apparently spies that were caught by the Fulton Navy. Wow. Um, was Fulton Taryn's place just as a... Yep. Uh, it's <laughs> yep. worse than that, though. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Well, also, I believe I believe my niece has some issues there too. <clears throat> they may be looking for him as well. And a gnome. They're probably looking for an elf, an Arakaka, <laughs> a gnome. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, they don't know you two. They know Maniz and they know me. You two weren't with Maniz when all that shit happens. I hear those so, people actually like gnomes. So Ter Terran hasn't put two and two together yet, though. No, I haven't because you're just saying they they beheaded a bunch of spies, and it's I don't know what that means in terms. I'm going I'm, I'm going over my brief backstory in cave view, and I don't really know how it fits together. Um, I'm trying to say, can you expand spies? Mm -hmm. The vicious lady pirate uh, had caught some spies, and uh, she told magistrate. Magistrate yep. Fenwick, uh, that they need to surrender our fleet by noon tomorrow or suffer the consequences. Wait, 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 wait. Who needs to surrender what fleet? Sorry, this is the Magistrate Carol Fenwick. Magistrate Fenwick is essentially the mayor of Yaddle. <clears throat> oh, he told them that they were going to have to surrender. No, the female pirate lady told Fenwick. Yaddle surrenders their ships or there's going to be hell to pay. Oh, okay. That's what I thought you meant. Yeah, oh, this General Nakja. Yeah. Oh, you dick. You <laughs> it's about time you caught that one. <laughs> Don't you have a history with this General, Taryn? Uh, not that general, at least not that I knew of. Um, so he threw Think? something into my backstory that wasn't really in the backstory that I threw in. I have it on email if you'd like to see it. Yeah, I you, saved that one. Because that's my character for the Hand of Bane. So, <clears throat> uh, so, so you are familiar with this general? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. We didn't discuss how we were going to play this. It, did Were they separated when they were little? Like, in, like I know. So, No. She doesn't know. twin or twin. twin. That's why everyone ran away in fear. Oh, this is great. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh I know. I, yeah. So no, Taryn would not, Taryn would not put this together. How long does this disguise self work? Just wondering. Uh, hour, I think. Hour, how many, how many times can you cast it? <laughs> uh, well, well, 
actually, if you consider, I can up it up the spell slots. I can cast it a bunch more times, but then I'm blowing every spell slot. Oh, uh, I, and I'm sure the acolytes won't remember what you look like. This is great. Um, I imagine the acolytes would be very confused if they ran away from Terran to show up where Terran was, where she beheaded a bunch of spies, and then came back to find Terran again. Oh, Lord. But the thing of it is, I can't play it that way because Taryn doesn't know who she is and she doesn't realize that there's somebody with her face. Well, you would know that you had a twin. <laughs> she okay. turned into a newt. <laughs> she floats. Uh, well, fine. Would I know? Well, I guess then I would. If she's like a general in, in, in my friggin' city, then I would know. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. No, then, yeah, she would put together and like, I'm oh, Coming um, down the road is a group of acolytes. I go, I'm exiting back in, and I'll drop the disguise, and I'm like, oh, shit. We guys, we gotta, get, we gotta do this fast and get the hell out of here, is what this means. Okay, about three more hours. Yaddle is demanding, I'm sorry, um, Fulton is demanding that Yaddle surrender all the ships by tomorrow. And okay. The How did they get Fulton all the way over to Yaddle? The, the ship. Oh, the, ships. the ship. Ship. And the right. Harbor. Got it. Remember that? I, I was thinking that the city came and asked the city to give up the ships. Powerful I've been lifting a lot crazy. of boulders right now, you know. <laughs> uh, everybody, perception check as Taryn fills you in on the backstory that she has. No, no, no. Seven. No, no. Well, not unless they ask me for it. And 13. basically, I'm going to say there is. Somebody out there, uh, they just beheaded a bunch of um, spies. Uh, Your perception check? My perception check is an 18. Uh, you hear a noise behind you. Maniz and Lucas, as you are listening to Taryn, you see. I can't read it. Oh, I see a face peeking around the oh. corner of the entry. Yep. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, I, I wave to them. I'm like, hello, we're, we've been moving the rocks. What, what's going on down at the docks? Uh, hello. What? <laughs> They're about to die. T Taryn? Well, what about her? I look back. Uh, they go around the corner. <laughs> they, they leave? They're around the corner. Oh, boy. Um... Okay, I go back to moving rocks. <laughs> He's a maniac, maniac, uh, cutting <laughs> heads. Give me a D6 as Taryn continues to uh, give you the recitation. Yeah, so yeah, you guys know what happened. I got a six. Uh, everyone? Yeah, well, Lucas and Dewey. Four. Okay. Yeah, not me. <laughs> not so much. Uh, you guys all hear a disturbance outside. Another disturbance? More people running towards the docks? No, you don't see anybody moving about in front of the opening of the temple. Every once in a while, you'll see somebody back on the street. <laughs> they came back in far greater numbers. Well, <laughs> I go back to moving rocks. Uh, yeah, I go back to moving rocks. Okay. I, I Unless this disturbance is really disturbing. Not yet. It is growing in intensity. What, what sound? Is it people screaming or? Muttering. People muttering. People muttering? And every once in a while. Hey, hey Taryn, can you go back out there and see what's going on? No. No, don't worry, guys. I got it. I got um, it. And Dewey is going to go I, out there. I think, I think they're looking at us for some... I think we're going to get captured by something. Well, they were pointing at Terran. What's up with Terran? Guys, why aren't you helping us move boulders? Uh, as you go outside, Dewey, you notice that the two guards from earlier are talking to some of the acolytes, uh, and a large crowd has gathered with torches and pitchforks. Yes. I, cast I run up to the guards. You don't see shit, Manise. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. 
I help pull rocks faster so we can try to get friggin' down the catacombs. Uh, Manis, Terry, and Lucas, D4s. Yes, Dewey? Uh, uh, what are, what, what's with everybody? I got a three. And why aren't you guys helping to clear the rubble? Taryn, D4. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The guard looks at you and goes, are you responsible for the prisoner inside? What? What the prisoner? I'm sorry. The pirate inside? What pirate? This is the pirate inside. Answer me now. <laughs> I wish. I totally Did, wish. Four I'm not life. inside, but the bird, the elf, and the other elf is inside. Is there a pirate inside? No. Is General Nocta inside? I don't She beheaded know. some of our interrogative <laughs> spies. Oh my god. Or the crowd is really bolstering as urchins and little fuckers are Oh the pirates are tired. <laughs> Oh, there, there, there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a bird named Maniz, there's an elf named Lucas, and then there's another elf who's a really terrible joke teller named Taryn. <laughs> I'm gonna friggin' die. Maniz, Lucas, and Taryn perception checks as you're heaving oh, rocks. Oh, Lord, this is... 16. Oh. Oh, also, I need uh, two D20s from you guys. All right, so eight. Um, we've been here since since the day started. About a lunch ten time. and a three. Uh, Maniz, you're going to take some damage. Oh no! Deuce. Uh, two damage. Two damage. Uh, Dewey, the the guard looks at you. Off in the distance, you can see a cadre of guards headed this way. Uh, it's starting to get dire here. Lucas, you notice on your side where you're pitching rocks, uh, there is an opening caused from the destruction of the rooftop. And every once in a while, a person will peek in. This is a standard citizen. Uh, and anytime you notice that they're there, they immediately duck back. Oh, okay. I, I wave at them. Uh, and then I go back to moving rocks. I rolled hey. an 11 and 18. <laughs> Mr. DM, do you want my rolls? Because you're going to love this. Sure. One and a one. No, close. One, 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 one. Hurt my dice. Friggin' finally bit me in the butt. Eight finally. damage, Taryn, as you drop a big rock on your foot. Uh, do we? Uh, looks like the guards are bolstering for uh, an entrance. What does the pirate look like? Uh, it's an elf, it looks like, and gives almost a perfect description of your associate, Taryn. Can, can I have one second? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. And I'll shuffle inside. Hey, Taryn, you're a pirate and you killed a bunch of people. <laughs> Carol's dying here, but Taryn's just not laughing. <coughs> uh, Lucas and Maniz, you will take uh, note of this new information uh, and at least pause your rock tossing. Taryn, what'd you do? You have to know that when you kill people, you I, don't do it in public. It's not me. Obviously, I've been here the entire time. Except for that time when you left for a little bit. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah. Taryn. <laughs> You're the guilty one. <laughs> right, right, right. Sure. Where were you when we first started removing rocks? Hmm. But yeah. Taryn, they look like they're really mean and they really mean business. And you should you should try and talk your way out of this. I, I think that that'd probably be the best best. You talk yeah. real good. I yeah. Uh, no. There's a lot. I, I can't kill that many people. No. I, I don't no, think no. I should either. No, don't. And it's not me. It's not me. I know who that is. That is, I have a twin, and that's her. And so she's running around. Yes. <laughs> Identical twin sister. I haven't seen her in a long time. I knew about her. I mean, Bolton's not exactly a small city, but. Hey, everybody inside, come out with your hands up. Leave your weapons holstered. Guys, stay here. Keep moving rocks. I'll go deal with this. I'll, I'll go with you just to make sure. Well, 
Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you can attribute for my the fact I was here when all those heads were rolling. I that's gonna, for the gonna, time you weren't here when those heads were rolling. Because <laughs> you were out checking to see what was going on at the docks. Yeah, but I didn't come in on a ship either. I'll I, aid you with my negative three charisma. Let's go. Oh my God, this is going to be good. All right. <laughs> uh, Mini, Lucas, give me another D6. <laughs> All right, D6, uh, six, and a D20, a seven. Manis? Uh What roll, sir? I didn't hear you. Six and 20. Uh, six and 14. Oh, very nice. Uh, both of you give me an insight check, please. All righty. Insight. One. Modified 23. Ooh. 19. It's going to take you guys about three more hours to uncover the crypts. Because everyone keeps leaving. Pretty well, much. It's probably going to get worse here now. Dewey, Taryn, you step out front. I, showing your hands, I assume. Yeah. 19 no. civilians scream, it's the pirate, and run. <laughs> the guards <laughs> flank out. Spears levied at you. Identify yourself. Do, do we hear these shouts inside? With oh yes, <laughs> I stop moving rocks and I I go creep over to the doorway to see what's going on. <laughs> the front door or the side door where people oh, are passing. I show up as I am. I the side door. Know. I'm not. I, I'm not with these people. I I come out with a general crowd, <laughs> and I I want to be behind the guards like. I want to get those guards in a perfect line about a hundred feet straight. D12 against me, Lucas. What, to to merge into the crowd? Yes. Ten. Seven. You successfully uh, move out. Every All the looky-loos have moved up to the front hearing uh, the screams and shouts. Uh, so you manage to get outside uh, on the right. Uh, so you are kind of on the main road here, uh, but you meld into the crowd. Out front, Dewey and Taryn, uh, you're told not to move. Keep your hands held high. Uh, the guards are there. And a lady in armor uh, looks to be official-ish type. Uh, parts the guards and approaches you, uh, orders you to drop your weapons on the steps. She has not armed herself. She gives a very commanding impression. I, yeah, that's fine. Identify yourselves. I'm Dewey. This is Taryn. We're looking for Mr. Alvin Knackle. He was the head librarian at the Library of Andoria. And and apparently she's the twin sister of a pirate who just decapitated a bunch of people. Although, to be honest, there was a space of time where she went missing from digging the hole. Hang her! That being said, and I just kind of pinch a little bit of Taryn's elbow, you know, where it's like really painful when you pinch it. Yeah. She doesn't really have the muscle for beheadings. He's right. That's <laughs> Ow! Shit! No, but I, but I, oh, wait, out of game, I assume that she didn't necessarily do the beheading. She might add somebody to do it for her. You are wrong. Oh, a very muscular, <laughs> tiny gnome with a battle axe. <laughs> Had you <laughs> gone to the docks, you would have noticed that the spies, including a silver dragonborn, uh, had wires wrapped around their necks. And she pulled a lever and the wire... <laughs> Oh my god! Dropping all the heads into the water with the bodies plopping in after that, scaring the shit out of the crowd. Yeah, that's no, that's because of shit. Just the thought of that. Yeah, but she's not strong enough to actually decapitate people. Um, I've seen it. She, she, don't she shoots a bow. Shut up, you pirate! Show me your hands. I show her my hands. She's not a pirate. She's a bard. Listen See, to she her tell responded a joke. to the term pirate. She's the pirate. <laughs> <laughs> she has a flute, but she tells better jokes. 
No, I'm much better at playing the flute. Thank you very much. Uh, I haven't heard you do that, so I'm making. Guesses. I'm not her. I, I look. I look at her. I'm like. I'm not her. I'm, my name is Taryn. She is enough. My sister, you are not her. This is not her. She doesn't smell like the sea. This is not her. Who are you? My name is Taryn Amontaril. Mm. I am from Bolton, and I am here to help stop the plague. From Bolton, where the ships are from? Just Shut someone up. in the crowd asks. <laughs> that sounds a lot like that's where that pirate is from. Off. That's where the pirate's from. Probably a relative. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's win. Uh, the, the crowd, Bye! <laughs> the crowd sticking around, uh, starts to rumble at the indication that you are from Fulton and that they have blockaded the thing. Fortunately for you, this commander uh, believes you. I mean, clearly you don't smell like the open sea. Uh, your argument was my, at least mildly persuasive, along with Dewey's assistance. Uh, that's but, right. Bam. But there's something wrong. So she asks, how many of you are there? There are four of us. Two more. The acolytes go, oh, there were, there were four, there were four of them. Uh, she waves them off. Uh, so what are you doing in the temple of the Shrine of Icus? Well, that's where Alvin Knackle is, maybe, possibly. Uh, I don't... That don't, don't worry about that. The head librarian of li uh, the Library of Andorra. <laughs> that's is. awesome. Uh, is it he, is. Is he from Fulton as well? The Library of Andorra. Uh, turns back to Taryn. Uh, what are you guys doing in here? We're looking for Alvin Knackle oh of the head <laughs> librarian... <laughs> Not good with charisma, and I'm not being listened to. Dewey, shut up. She's asking me. Hey, hey, who died for you? Who died for you? This guy. Oh, my God. Ivan Knackle. She's still so paying attention to you, Taryn. I look, at, I look at her. If you want to talk, let's go inside. This is getting too much. Oh, uh, sure, it's General. Crap. It's a trap. <laughs> sure, General, or you can answer my question. And she yells oh. for the crowd to shut up. I, I, I answered the question already. Well, all right, so what was sorry, what was the question? Because that was what like are you guys doing in here. We, we are, are <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dewey. <laughs> it's Jeebus Crisp, Taryn. Gosh. By the way, that's for um we are we're here. Yes, he is here to look for this father figure of his. But we are here also to find part of an artifact that is going to put a stop to this plague and every and the evil that's going <laughs> around the world. One of the acolytes stepped up. We uh, need to get in there. They, uh, they, uh, they want to get into the crypts. <laughs> and, and the commander's like, no. That's um, where the second piece is. And we need to get there. It's the only way that we're going to put a stop to, as I said, the plague and the blight. And anything else that's connected to this evil that was released. Have but you received authorization to go into the crypt to find this Alvin Knackle or whatever? We, we did just get here and we just found out we were going to need it. And we were helping to clear it in hopes that maybe that would help expedite The acolytes happening. said they would help us get in. Yeah. Uh, the acolytes aren't real keen on helping you guys at the moment right now. Uh, the commander points out that you will need to talk with Lord Hamus in the morning to see if he will allow it to continue. I will suggest highly that you four, especially you, dear lady, uh, get out of the view of the public for a while. No, I get that. I get that. And I can, I have ways to deal with it. It's so where are you guys staying? Uh, you don't even have, um, well, no. you we had looking for a I point. I do. I do. I spot Lucas in the crowd. Uh, <laughs> give, me a, give me an investigation check, please. I point him out. I'm like, he actually. Can, can I? Can I roll a stealth check? Yes. Okay. You roll the stealth. She rolls the investigation. Ah, uh, nat twenty. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. <laughs> you freaking. 
Hey, you are such a liar. <laughs> uh, now it's not 20. Well, he was here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> One of our computer group has rooms. We actually just arrived. No, he's capable of changing shape. Maybe he turned into the general and started lopping off heads. <laughs> well, I don't think he can turn into another person exactly. But Maniz, give me a D four and then a D twenty because you're the or no, you you <laughs> came up to check on him, didn't you? Or are you still digging out rocks? Okay, give me a D four and a D twenty. Don't drop it on yourself. I rolled a pair of threes. <laughs> oh, no! So good on the D4, not so much on the D20. <laughs> you only take one hit point of damage, and you find a hand. <laughs> ah, sweet. Look, I found a hand. Do you, do you run out the front holding the hand? <laughs> Please tell me that. No, that's... isn't. It's isn't armed! For nobody. <laughs> Anybody need a hand? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Colonel Sanders <laughs> immediately whips out her crossbow. <laughs> uh, you find the hand of the high priest that was buried in there. Does it have rings or anything? It does have a ring. It has... Uh... I will pill for the hand and discard of its remains. Wow. Heroes. We're a bunch of murder hobos. What can it we has see? four rings. Give me a percentage. I didn't murder, I didn't murder anybody. That's one for each of us. Hey, finders keepers. Uh, so that's 80, 85. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something. One of the rings has a really weird carving in it. What'd you say it was? 85? 85. <laughs> I'm sorry, the uh, COVID nineteen individual there uh, was coughing over you. Hey. Just put it on, Manise. Put it on before you figure out what it is. Eighty five. <laughs> Are you going to put it on? Well, I don't know what it is. Murder hobo way. Put it on. Ah, screw it. I'm putting it on. What is it? Oh, yeah. no. It's probably not cursed. Probably. I mean, cursed. The, the head head priest died with it on. Maybe it is cursed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's going to be another earthquake, and I'm going to get buried under rubble. <laughs> oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't notice anything unusual. <laughs> the other three uh, have various jewels in them. They're probably worth 30 to 60 gold pieces each. So, uh, Taryn, uh, head lady here is like, uh, well, wherever your friend went, you need go so some of my men will escort you so the angry crowd doesn't mistake you for the pirate captain where what inn would you like to go stay at i i don't really know the area what's good lucas where are you what inn are we staying at it's okay you can come out they're not gonna hurt you uh, Lucas, give me an insight check. Yeah, I know that I'm not going to announce that I just showed up here because, hey, the city's on lockdown. Who gets into a city on lockdown other than spies? You know what? She doesn't seem to care because I did. I rolled a 15 for insight. Um, it's probably safe for you to announce yourself. If you get closer, if you announce yourself in the middle of the crowd, you might be deemed as a spy associate. No, I just muttered to myself, ah, this is getting boring, and I, I walk away. That's cool. Give me a perception check. Uh, 24. Uh, three individuals in heavy robes, which is unseasonably irregular, uh, seem to be walking this way. Towards you, me or towards them? Towards the crowd uh, and towards you. Uh you catch a glint of metal underneath Ooh, their cloaks. I think maybe cult members, so I'm going to avoid them. And uh, I'll let the crowd be between me and the cult members that are about so to slaughter have to, the crowd. You'll have to turn around and go back. Because <clears throat> you've peeled off on the right. And there's no crowd there. The crowd's in front of the building. 
is there any other alley or something that I can duck out? Uh, no, not without them seeing you. Uh, I don't want to be seen. And I also don't want to be on the side of the crowd that the Colt's approaching because I don't want to be the first to kill, be killed. So you'll, you'll have to plunge into the crowd. I will use my small frame and, and slowly go through the crowd. Theron, give me an investigation check. Mm, sure. Hang on. Oh, that, oh no, that rolled on something good. That's 17 plus investigation 20. 16. Uh, you spot your associate moving through the crowd because he's paying more attention to the alleged cult of sensual members coming up. Do I? You do to? not see. Okay. Um, I just kind of like it's, you know, it's, I try to reaffirm when we go, it's okay. Come on. No. Uh, the lady cop says, uh, I think her name is Lacey Cagney. Uh, she will go ahead and direct you to. So I'm going to be escorted under guard. This will be fun. You and Dewey are both going to be escorted and she will have you call to your associates inside to come out. And I'm going to roll a D6 to see which ward she sends you to. Maniz Lucas. Oh, can I ask for a in close to Lord Hamas? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Since we apparently need to get his blessing. Yes. Before we can even help dig anymore. Fair enough. Uh, Lucas, are you going to pay attention to where they're going? Uh, yeah, I don't want to be separated. I'll, I'll meet up with them later in the middle of the night. You guys are headed right here, catty corner from four. Quick. Because... That puts you near the plaza with the government building number five. Oh, five is where we want to go. Okay. The inn is the inn of the laughing minstrel. Oh, that's inn a great of name. the laughing minstrel. Got it. Hmm? <laughs> uh, are, now, are you going to call to uh, Maniz to come out? Yeah. I was muted, but I did that earlier. Okay, fair enough. Maniz, are you coming out? Yeah. Okay, uh, you three come out. Uh, Lacey Cagney says, "Where's your fourth friend?" I don't know. He, mm. so, I, I I won't point him out because. Can I look for him? Sure. So I will just say to her, he'll be along. He won't uh, cause trouble. Apparently, I will, anyways. Well, no, I probably don't see him. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we aren't going to wait all day for him. Uh, Gentlemen, make sure that they get to the laughing minstrel. Okay, uh, let's keep this crowd at bay. Uh, Lucas, if you fear us, we're at the laughing minstrel. Oh, no. Yeah. Awesome. So oh, no. Everyone else looking for my head probably. Everybody <laughs> heard that. <laughs> Guess what in burns down in y'all tonight? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the guards... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, guard, the, the guards reluctantly uh, escort you to the laughing minstrel while Lacey Cagney goes ahead and uh, speaks with the crowd, trying to calm their nerves. I, oh, you know what? Now nah, I was going to say I would cast disguise again, but that's not going to really accomplish. In anything. the middle of the uh, guards would probably be suspect uh about a block and a half away Maniz, dewey taryn you are escorted to the laughing minstrel inn it appears to be a medium quality inn uh sits right on the corner uh and it is on the main drag so since well, he has alerted the universe where you're staying that may or may not be a good thing lucas were you going to follow serendipitously behind them or surreptitiously rather I will. I know where they're going, so I'm going to wait a little bit before I start following. Fair enough. Uh, you will listen to the Lacey Cagney, and she will demand that no public outrage occurs, or she will send in the truth. I love that you named her Lacey Cagney. <laughs> uh, the crowd seems to hold her in high esteem, uh, albeit there is some grumbling about 
fucking foreigners, goddamn elves, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but the group tends to break up. The acolytes, you notice, go back in and you hear one of them shriek loudly at the presence of a hand. <laughs> no rings. No rings. Uh, it is starting to get right around dinner time, which means you have about an hour to go ahead and grab something to eat before the curfew goes into effect. What would you like to do, Moniz, Dewey, and Taryn? <laughs> I'm probably not really, probably going out would be a bad idea for me. Um, can we, do they have room service? <laughs> do they have a, do they, oh, do they really? Anything yeah. will get you money. Yeah, I'll, I'll do, I'll do that then. If you guys want to go out, go ahead. But I have a feeling they don't want me to leave. It's eight gold pieces for your room for the night per person. Is that uh, cool service? That's expensive, by no, the way. It doesn't. Uh, hello, cities under lockdown. That's called inflation. Wait till you see the <laughs> bill for the food. Uh, you guys each have a room uh, if you want it, or you can just take one room for eight gold pieces. What do you guys want to do? Um, I'm okay with my own. But really? I mean, if we if we want to share it, that's fine too. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I can afford a gold plus whatever the hell I'm gonna pay through the nose for dinner. Dewey, what do you want to do? Do you want to share or do you want to be by yourself? Is he even listening? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Are you muted again? No, no, I'm not. He's pondering. Honestly. Yes, ponder. ponder. Do you want to share a room or do you want to get your own? Uh, 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 um. hmm. Is <laughs> Dewey smart enough to realize he told everyone where his Terran was? Intelligence check. Oh, shit. That's true. Well, that's not bad. That's a uh, uh, 13. Yes, you realize that you just let the cat out of the bag where you're yeah, sleeping. Yeah. I'm gonna like cover up and just, yeah, let's just all sleep in one room. It'll be it'll be fine. I mean, nothing bad is gonna happen, obviously, but the good news is the room that you achieve is on the second floor overlooking the intersection. So you will be able to keep an eye on let's see this is just a three-way intersection you will be able to look in two different directions for trouble coming by so you're agreed for one room yeah do you want to send dewey and Manise out for food or do you want to use room service there appears to be yeah. what do you do two the want people at the inn know who taryn is not a clue okay so yeah. they probably won't poison your food. You're good. Actually, or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's soup. Uh, there is a... There are two inns. One is next door to you in the back, and the other one is along the main drag on the opposite corner. Taverns or inns? Taverns, sorry. Okay. Do you want to go out and get... I mean, obviously, it's not a great idea if I do, but if you two want to and you want to bring me back something, I'll make sure I pay you. Do you want the vegetarian option or the pescatarian option? Pescatarian option. All right. I don't know what that word means. Let's go. Yes. I think that was a I, Russian I figure do. skater. Yeah. I, I hand you 10 gold. I bring you back a leg with a, a nice blade. With a nice <laughs> skate on it. <laughs> back to Lucas. Lucas, uh, you watch your associates travel off. You have managed to disguise yourself in the uh, crowd still milling about. You notice that the acolytes go inside. You hear one of the acolytes scream. You do not know the presence of the hand has been discovered by Manise. Uh, so you may be understandably curious. You also notice that the three individuals clanking around are scanning for the, your associates, maybe. And uh, one of them 
enters the temple. I give them plenty of space, and I make my way back to my inn. Fair enough. Because I already prepaid for dinner. (laughs) And in a room for tonight. Dewey and Manise, you go in. Uh, The food is going to be expensive for all three of you because, again, the city is on lockdown. Uh, You can be big spenders and get a nice meal. Uh, You can be moderate spenders and get an okay meal. What's the okay meal meal. and what's the nice meal? Uh, It's like having a Big Mac versus grilled cheese. I actually like okay, grilled cheese. Now, hold on. You can Mac. make an awesome grilled cheese. You can. Yeah. I love grilled cheese. I, I'm a big fan of grilled cheese. I, uh, I have grilled, sir. Palate, so. Smoked Gouda, caramelized grilled. onions, you know. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a bit I'm, of kimchi I'm, on there. I, I, am not, <laughs> I am not debating the fact that a good grilled cheese is an excellent oh, find. I'm just saying. Breakfast. You get fries just, with Big Mac. Do I get tomato soup and the good kind of tomato soup? <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so good. D twenty against me. Guess what I'm gonna go eat right after this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, they don't have any tomatoes. Uh uh <coughs> French onion soup. We got that, because I got a one. Nice! We will get the grilled cheese with the French onion soup, please. Well, I will anyway, and so will uh, uh, Taryn. Uh, Taryn. Yeah. Is there like a to-go <laughs> bowl with that, or do I have to bring you back the bowl? Uh, no, they'll, they'll give you the bowl for free. Uh, I'll, Manise, I'll have the same thing. Manise, Dewey, Taryn, uh, everybody roll constitution check to see how you like it. It's not perfect. Oh, I hope I like, I like it. Because I really freaking like it anyways. Oh, that's good. I do like it. Constitution. 11. Me too. Um, that's a, a 17. That's Lucas, really- you do not have to roll. Your food is excellent. Your uh, <laughs> bridal suite uh, is in great shape. However, there uh, is, is the missus around? I don't know. I don't know. She needed some uh, air after uh, last night. Uh, Taryn, while Dewey and Manise are out and about, go ahead and give me an investigation check as you peer out the yeah, window. I was going to say, I'm strategically putting myself so I'm not really visible like out the window, but where I can see. Are there curtains on the windows? Uh, this is a medium room. I'll, I'll say no. Okay. Uh, shutters, though. Yeah, no window blankets. Uh, that is, so what'd you say? Investigation, not perception, right? Correct, because you're actively searching. Uh, 19. You notice a pair of individuals have set up across the street, leaning up against the far building. Uh, they arrived shortly after Dewey and Meniz walked past them, uh, and they will be there as Dewey and Meniz walk back to the room. Uh, and with the 19, you'll see. Uh, and they will be joined by a third. Are they the heavily cloaked people? You would or- not know that, but yes. Well, they are. No, no. I mean, well, yeah, but I'm seeing them now. Are they heavily cloaked? Yes, and they're hiding in the shadows of the building across the street. Oh, this is. Hmm. Um, well, I have sending now. Lucas hangs up. Thankfully, thankfully. Fucking robocall. I'm not answering that shit. Yeah. All right, so. Hello, City Morgue. You stab him, we slab him. All right. Oh, good. I got enough. The couple of these. So we can really freaking... All right, so I'm going to, con- I'll contact my knees. And I will say, oh, God, I'm you not going to. You know gonna- he's walking in, right? Wait, my knees is walking back already? Yeah. Oh, never mind, then I won't warn that. I won't do that. Um, yeah, you notice that yeah. the cloaked guys see those two, and they're like. So I wouldn't have noticed them before they 
came back. They just pulled up when my two companions started heading back. They're fo- oh, they're following them. Oh shit. No, they they did they did not know that they went to the town. Oh, okay. Because it said if they were showed up while they were eating, then I would do sending to warn them. But since they all showed up together, I had to shrug and like, great. Said, so do they? And there look, are three of them now. Do they look like they're dressed like the guys that <coughs> the other day? Uh, yes, what was that yesterday? Yesterday. No, because these guys are wearing heavy cloaks to disguise themselves. Oh, okay. There's no way to know if that's the, well, they could be something else too. I mean, we're, we're jumping, we're making assumptions here. We don't could be know. the FBI. Could be Hoover boys. Could be, it could be Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> that's could true. be Fulton authorities looking for Manips. I mean. Could be uh, Buffalo PD looking to crack the skull of an old man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, fuck yeah. Buffalo PD. So, All right. Uh, you you get there. Dewey and Maniz have some delicious smelling food. So they didn't good. have an pescatarian option, but they had French onion soup. This is perfect. And grilled cheese. Really? This is so perfect, and I'll just tuck right in. Oh, this is. Although, guys. Oh no! There's three strangers out there. Oh, food. <laughs> <laughs> there's three bowls of delicious French onion soup. I pull, I will I will tell you too about the the guys outside, obviously. Hey Dewey, do you want to look out the window? I look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> they already saw you. You it's, see it's, it's, all three of them go in different directions. We're in trouble, folks. Oh. Did they see me looking at them? I'll yes. Did. God, that's why you sit right back here, and then you kind of peek. I spent the whole time watching. But did you notice how high the window ledges are? I, I can't stand back and look out the window. I have to be uh, at the window to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from back here, it's that high. <laughs> so who do you want to do the sending to? Oh, I, well, no, I was going to do it to them. But I mean, they're back. I mean, it, if... Well, right now we're worrying about them. Otherwise, eventually, I want to be sending to some people at home, my home. Sure. I can catch one of like them. Like your yourself. sister? <laughs> no, I'm not friggin' messing Plans with going accordingly well. <laughs> I have <laughs> infiltrated <laughs> city. <laughs> go out there that I want to find out because I know that is not you know what i'm freaking well saying. open up the dock gates this evening at midnight do you have any spare wire <laughs> no 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 i'll do it later we have to worry about the three guys that just left their post and went three different directions like, ah, you don't have to grab worry one of them what's that should we grab one of them do if they want- split up they can't help each other out and we can interrogate them <laughs> You notice it's but getting awfully to close to uh, curfew. Tur- curfew time. <laughs> Soup inhales my nose off. It can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, let's. Why don't we? We'll wait. I mean, they split up is right. I mean, Lucas, uh, you finish your meal and give a resounding belch at the quality it deserved. You throw yourself down on the bed and go, ah. Oh. After hauling those fucking rocks, I could almost go to sleep. Right, right now. I yeah, I will. I will uh, make sure the door is locked and rest for four hours. Okay. Well, you three fuckers are on your own. <laughs> okay. So, uh, by the way, the sp- cool thing is he has one of the I- he has the item. So if they're coming, if they are that cult. They can yeah. get the ball, but they can't. But they, get the- but they can't surprise me because I'm an elf, so I meditate when I rest. So I'm I am aware of my surroundings. They have no idea who you are or where you're at. Thank and goodness. You know, yeah. But when not- Lord Bushmill kicks in your door, <laughs> I'll lightning bolt that fucker. <laughs> it worked real well last time. <laughs> well, he barged in, and I lightning bolt him. What a so, dick. So yeah, I can. By the way, I being an elf, I have that same ability too. So yeah, I'm sleeping. 
So you guys eat your meal. Do you want to venture out before curfew or just huddle no. down? Nope. I'm hunkering down, waiting to see if anything shows up at the door. And if nothing does, then maybe I will send a try sending. Okay. Can I tie a rope to the bedpost and just have a rope ready to throw out the window real quick? Certainly. Oh, okay. you're, you're second story, so yeah, that's that is a very wise idea. <clears throat> just jump. That's only <laughs> like a single D10 of damage. Well, to be fair, yeah, I could jump, but they'd probably all die. <laughs> My knees can fly. Like I don't it's... need no stinking rope. <laughs> yeah. So yes, you uh, you tie it to the bedpost. You find that the bed is quite sturdy. Uh, set it next to the window. Uh, you hunker down. You stare at the door with vicious intent. How long would you like to wait before you send a message? Oh, me? Uh, no, I'll just... No one shows up in a half hour, then I will... No one's going to show up in a half hour. <clears throat> About a half hour goes by, and you hear, Curfew! Stay inside! Get to your residences now! The curfew's in effect! As the guards meander down the main streets. Uh, you see the last remnants of a few citizens screen towards the different buildings uh the street lights are put out uh and only some shadowy figures move about because i have where have i got low light or dark vision i have dark vision so i you can have see. dark vision unless there's a light in the room right <clears throat> so half hour goes by what do you want to do okay then i will i want to send i'm trying to figure out who i want to send, send a message to who do I think might still be alive in my family tree? Because uh, I know your what, sister. I'm not <laughs> contacting her. Uh, well, oh, have, fuck no. you on the family reunion! Now you have to bring dip. <laughs> I want to find out what's going on in Fulton. Is what I want to find out what's going on. Uh, I know she. You know, what? I may contact her before the before the end of the night. I've got enough spell spots to. Uh, <laughs> get a GPS your ass. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to contact my mother. Okay. Uh, not me. You don't want to talk to me. No. Certainly not. <laughs> you know, Whatever. Us. So you know. Send the Air Force in, man. You let you left us. That's not my problem. You're the one that's telling people that you broke into the city that's on lockdown and you're related to the pirate. That he, just he does have a <laughs> point. <laughs> I know your track record of being overly honest, so I am staying away. Second shit. It worked though. It worked with the general. Uh, <laughs> so I will go. Hi, mom. It's me. It's me. Um. The ums don't count. <laughs> Noctia? Is that you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just can't answer until I'm done. Let's see. Uh, want to let you know I'm fine. Uh, how are things in Fulton? I got like 10 more words here. Um, <sighs> uh, I hope you're well, but let me know. Love you. So you uh, 25 words back. Dewey and Manise, what would you like to say? Or what would you like to do? Go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Rest. That was a really good soup. Cool beans. Yes, it was, it was delicious. Uh, Taryn, uh, there is a lapse in time uh, yeah. because she is uh, otherwise preoccupied. Said so stay away from uh, stay away from here, dear city on lockdown. Dad, or Dad and I are in prison. Oh shit! Um, but there's enough words for her to tell me why. That was not twenty-five. Uh, or do I need to do it? I blow another spell slot. It's the end of the day, so. Yeah, you're probably not going to need any spell slots for the night. Shit. I'm already almost out, anyways. Why? Just why <coughs> oh no, I still have second levels. Never mind. I still have some more left. Uh, Dewey and Maniz, are you going to tell Taryn to shut the fuck up? You're trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm being very. I'm sleep right through it. All right. I'm being really quiet. I'm not. In fact, I think you just say it in your head. You're not saying it out loud. Okay. <sighs> are you going to burn another spell? 
You ought to burn a spell for your sister and go, look, you fucking bitch. I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. I have a specific (laughs) set of skills that allow me to do this. And I'm gonna, uh, end of words. (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, now who's the puss? <laughs> no, no, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna I'm gonna physically find her. <laughs> uh, trying to find me. I mean, uh, I doubt she knows I'm in this city. I doubt. But hey, twin thing, you know that bond. Maybe she knows. I don't know. Gonna send another message? No, I'm no. Gonna- I'm gonna spell slots. I'm gonna preserve what you i have left are you gonna do the elvish thing where you're in a trance yeah yeah i'll put my back i will sit in that little corner i've been hunched at with the overlooking the road there will be several shadows that pass through uh the doorway uh, but they all move quickly some muttering is heard uh, standard business uh certainly not a nefarious issue manise dewey at disadvantage perception taryn uh straight up roll perception <clears throat> oh that was friggin shite that's a five on a die so perception is only eight Manise? perception at disadvantage <clears throat> Uh, Everything's going around my brain and probably distracted to say the least. It'll be eight at disadvantage. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> Taryn is like, ah, oh, I, I need to second guess myself on everything I wake I've ever up done in my life. To no, snip not- the flight feathers from my knees. So, <laughs> fuck you, you're going to fucking use the rope. Dewey, w- Dewey wakes up to the smell of smoke. Oh, you were friggin'. You said this would be the one. I cool. fucking told you guys outright what was going to happen. <laughs> uh, Dewey. I look out the window. Uh, there's smoke. Huh. Manis. Now you now you two hear screaming outside. Outside. I, so I'll come I'll come out of my trance. And I assume I smell the smoke then? Yep. Fuck. And you see it underneath the crack in your door. <laughs> I open the door. Uh, smoke and flames. People running around, bashing into the wall. Ah, the place is on fire. Is it a lot of flame, or could you potentially put it out? Oh, there's a lot of flame, and it's all coming from the ground floor. Oh no! Okay, could we open up? The oh door yeah, the, the Kool Aid Man arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you have this rope prepared. I was going to say, yeah. Can I open up the door and start directing people into our room to start using the rope? I think that is an excellent idea. That's a great idea. Now, send Bitches, yourself, fuck those guys. Dewey's the fucking <laughs> hero. <laughs> right there, I will take the rope and I'll toss it out. The- Six people uh, gladly accept the thing, your request, and they are two kids. Oh, Three God. males and a female. Are the kids missing anybody? Uh, I will say one is or with I their suppose. dad and one is with their mom and dad. Okay. Did you seriously cut his feathers, by the way? No. The kids, the terrible. Kids, he could get the kids out. The, he could get the kids out, and they don't have to climb. It's only one story. Last time yeah! I, checked, I have only done that if Manise has attacked me, and uh, he hasn't yet done that so far. It mm-hmm. might be why he's still alive at this point. <laughs> Lucas, no, no. there is a knock on your door. Very soft. Uh, cool. I uh, open the door. It is a small female. Do I recognize this person? You recognize her as the um, cleaning <laughs> lady. 
Sonora, right? Correct. Oh, I, I say, what's up? What can I do for you? Um, I was just wondering if you needed anything, my friend. And uh, what's what do you mean by that? Um, the city gates are locked down, yet here you are. May I come in? Oh, yeah. Feel free. <laughs> she comes in, looks around. Where is your wife? Uh, she She's uh, out exploring. Curfew doesn't really uh, stop her. I see. Can you tell me what brings you to our fair city? Uh, we're actually and looking... She is, she's looking around pretty hard. <clears throat> We're uh, actually looking to explore the catacombs under the city. Lose a relative? Yeah. So, now that I recognize what your lying face is, what do you want to see in the crypts? Uh, there's a magical item that we want to retrieve. And who are you? My name is Lucas. And who are we? Because unless your associates are invisible, you're alone in here. You, we could be. <laughs> um, I, I already told you, my, my colleague's out exploring. <sighs> yeah. So have you figured out how to get in there? Uh, not really. Not yet. Why, do you have a way in there? I'd be willing to pay for some information. Perhaps. It's yes or no, because I do have money. The money is not really the issue. What is the issue? She, go ahead and give me an insight roll. <clears throat> Thirteen. She's kind of feeling you out. She's trying to figure out if you're a good guy or a bad guy. Boy, that's in question. Does it matter? <laughs> it does to her. Remember, she's part of the underground. Oh, as in a good people? I, I mean, I don't really know. I, I just, I'm kind of uh, more uh, free the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, she's Oh, you guys did tell him that Sonora was the one you were looking for, right? I don't remember. Uh, I was uh, I, I'll say they probably did. Uh, you know of somebody who was uh, ferrying in people from the outside. Okay, cool. Not exactly pro-police, but, you know, not exactly fuck the police. So she's just trying to fill you out. <clears throat> Are you going to be here in the morning? Uh, most likely. If not, if you leave a if you leave a, a note for me on the nightstand, I, I will see it when I come back. Uh, meet me at the statue in the center plaza mid morning. Mid morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it okay if I bring my uh, colleagues? Most certainly. Cool. Have a restful sleep. And Thank she you. takes one more deep look around. Nods, walks out, shuts the door. You can relock it. Cool. I relock He's it. He's going to attack us at night. Maniz, Dewey, Taryn, uh, how are you getting the kids out first? Uh, Maniz, can you fly them out? Yeah, that's fine. Can you take both of them? Fine, I'll be a hero. <laughs> yeah. Can we not just throw them out the window? It's fast. No! Um, can you catch them at the bottom? How how big are the kids? 
They'll be small. So you can probably carry both of them if you want. Yeah, I, I There's an excellent it. joke that uh, is Billy White Shoes Johnson, of which none of you know who that is. So the joke would be horrible. But I am dying inside laughing at this one. So, uh, yeah, you can carry them both out and fly down to safety if you'd like. No, I'll do that. You notice when you get down there, they're screaming for their parents, clearly, and you notice that most of this block is a raging inferno. The block? Yep. No. Cult of Sensua never does anything small. Uh, Dewey, you've got a hold of the rope. Uh, Taryn, uh, you are ferrying the uh, males and female in. Uh, yeah, there are three males. I misrolled. There are three males, two children, and a female. Uh, so, uh, do you want to let them go down the rope first? Or yes. do you want to go down the rope first? Nope, them first. Do we? Them first. Them first. Who's the hero? Civilians. We can, we're, we're a bit tougher, I think. You, uh, you hear the cracking and popping and locking. Uh, as the wooden supports below you are starting to bristle. The uh, first man fuckers the second story, man, because he grabs a hold of the rope, swings out like Arrow Flynn, and down he goes. He lands, <laughs> runs over to Manise, grabs his kid. Male two. Uh, these guys might be thieves, because this guy does the same damn thing. Awesome. I'm glad they did it. Uh, let's go with a woman this time. They're like acrobats or something. Something is amiss because they're the ones who set the fire. All three of them have no problem grabbing the rope and sliding down. The last male dun, 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 dun. clearly experienced. Wow. All Four of them zip down. Uh, Terran, D12 against me. Dewey, D12 against me. Six. Uh, six? <laughs> That's funny. Five. Uh, you feel the floor lurch. As oh. Apparently the inferno below has damaged one of the supports, and you hear a loud creak and groan of wood. Uh, Dewey, jump out with an acrobatics check and shimmy down the rope. Terran, same thing. Are Acrobat there any other people in the building? If they are, they're cooked. We can't. Okay. Yeah. You only managed to get six to heed your warning. All right, Dewey. Let's Man, go. I feel bad now. I want to go running in to see if there's any more. No, no. First no. off, you got to make it down. Unless you want to go into the raging inferno in the hallway. Oh, the raging inferno is in the hallway. Okay. Yeah. Coming up the main set of stairs leading up. Yeah, no, unfortunately. So is there an the extra closet. hallway that way? Mm -hmm. Where more people could potentially be in? Possibly. I'll go that way. Why are you trying to help people all of a sudden? Dewey <laughs> has always been helping people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the silversmith you guys were robbing, and I attacked you to prevent you from killing him, but you killed him anyway. No, you attacked my knees. Aaron, what do you want to do? You Which guys way? tried to rob him. To Hang on. What do you want to? Do? What do you want to do, Taryn? I'm gonna stick with him. I'm gonna stick with him. Need... I can heal. I can heal. So, and this is not something he can resist. Ah, uh, so you plunge <laughs> down the long hallway, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. The flames are licking up the outside wall about 40 feet down there. Uh, there are three doors on the left, two doors on the right. Um, let's see here. One, two, three. One, two. <clears throat> Do we find anybody else? No, we have to break down doors and look, I assume. Uh, yes, kick in the doors. Anything but a one will get you kicked in. Wow, I got a one. First no. one. Am I going to actually do this better than you? Dewey I puts his foot through a door. <laughs> and now he is trapped. <laughs> now he is trapped. 
pick a different door and I, I rolled a five. So, Dewey, do you want the first one on the left or the first one on the right? First one on the left. That's door, the first one on the right. Door number three. You put your foot in and you put your foot right through the door. It's going to cost you a round to do anything at least. Uh, door number two, Taryn, is unoccupied. All right. Um, can I help him at all to make speed it up at all? Uh, you can try and pull him out. Uh, this right. will cause the flames to creep closer to you. Uh, what uh, What do I need to roll? Uh, just give me a d20 strength. Oh, God, yeah, strength. That'll be good. Well, I'm not strength. She's, she's not totally weak. That's, a, that's only an eight, though. Uh, he is stuck. Uh, the flames are creeping in alongside. Dewey, you can help her if you want mm -hmm. uh, to get advantage. Taryn, re-roll. Come on, damn it. Oh, that was a lot better. That's a, uh, I look at that, pan almost panic and pull really hard. That's a 17. Uh, Dewey, she yanks you out of the door. Uh, the door kind of eases open. You two are on your back. You see the flames coming in down the far side of the hall. They will engulf room number one on the left. Uh, Is anyone in room number one on the left? In room the first room that you put your foot through, no one is inside. However, it does look like somebody was inside at some point. Maybe mm -hmm. one of the six that you saved. Uh, you have scant amount of time before you can go to the middle room on the left or the last room on the right. What would you guys like to do? What do you want? room on the left. I'll take the last room on the right. Uh, last room on the right. Go ahead and kick open the doors. D20. Uh, 14. That's 11. Uh, you both kick open the doors. Taryn, your room is vacant, although it looks like it used to have somebody in there. Dewey, give me an investigation check as you actively search out for somebody. Okay. That is a good... Ah, that's cocked, though, even though I liked what it was. Uh -huh. um, 14, I think. Uh, you see an adult male... Cowering in fear. I grab him and run down to the last room as far away from the flames. Assuming there's a window down there. I'm going to fight you. Because I am panic mode. Uh, let's do grapple. Strength versus strength. Okay. Seven. <laughs> 26. Yeah. You, you punch me in the mouth, throw me over your shoulder, and run back to your room. Taryn, uh, it is not possible for you to check room number one, uh, or the last room on the left. You will not be able to do it. You see Dewey has found himself a mate and is running back towards your room. I uh, run too. Uh, well, I was running towards the back away. I'm assuming if the flames were licking up that we can't get access to our room without running through fire anymore. No, you can. It's coming up the stairs. The big flame was at the far end of the hall. Oh. Um, yeah, so yes, can you can get back to your room. Okay. Uh, as you get back to your room, uh, Dewey and Taryn, just give me straight up D20s. Make sure you don't trip. 11. You're fine. Uh, I think that's an 11 too. Where You're fine. Uh, yeah. You guys managed to get back into the room. The flames are coming up the stairwell that you walked up to the second floor. You get back into your room. You see that the rope is still there, although smoke is billowing outside. Uh, what do you want to do with your scared shitless guy? One arm. Uh -huh. If I have to do a superhero landing, I'll do it. Can I make but it? I'll attempt to swing down by the rope with one hand. At and disadvantage. Hold him can I try persuasion at all to get him to calm down? Oh, he's knocked out cold. Yeah. Oh, knocked out. I thought he, he punched him out. Turns out when they he roll calm. a seven and you roll a twenty-six, yeah, they're so. knocked the fuck out. So give me, uh, give me your descent roll at disadvantage. Eleven. You're, uh, you're gonna do the superhero landing and scrape your knuckles, Taryn. You're the last person in there. Oh. The flames are now at your door. All right, I go out the thing. I, hey, I rolled a good acro acrobatics, right? Sure. Uh, that is a 22, I believe. <laughs> you shimmy down. Uh, you find... <laughs> I just noticed the backdrop. <laughs> uh, yep. 
Uh, you, God, uh, terrible, Lucas. I love you, it. you find the knees, uh, you find that the people that you have rescued are uh, <laughs> charcoal covered, stink to high heaven. You notice the town guard has come. You notice that the town fire brigade, aka the town guard with buckets, have arrived. Uh, they are just screaming everybody back. The block is going to be a total loss. Total loss. Uh, give me perception at disadvantage as smoke fills the streets. Oh, God. Uh, have I noticed this for my hotel since nope. I'm awake? Okay. Nope. Uh, wow. I well, They aren't identical. Uh, so that's a uh, perception. What's my perception again? It is, okay, no way in nine. Maniz, perception at disadvantage. I'm looking at the burn. I'm looking at the uh, thing with horror, anyways. I'm realizing that we're probably could be the reason. Well, uh, Manise, there is a lot of activity around here, and you think think that you see someone in a heavy cloak down near the end of the block watching. You guys will not get your rest in. You will be fatigued in the morning. Lucas, ah, you're going to feel great. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my, my plan was after I got four my four hours. hours rest, I was going to go to their hotel to, to meet oh, up. I mean, how many hours is it? I mean, how many hours has it been? Uh, it was uh, 11 o'clock. So it's been about three hours for you. Oh, I'm only one hour freaking away from... Mm -hmm. There's nowhere we can go to get where I can at least get four hours of rest. And also, gotta I cough don't... up all that smoke. The Red Cross can go ahead and direct you to some place, but it's going to take several hours to get everything organized. And what type of end would want to shelter the pirate? <laughs> actually, actually, I can, I can try, I can try sending a message to Lucas. Where the hell are you? And maybe we can go there secretly. Uh, this sounds like an excellent place to end it, even though we didn't have any combat because you guys did <laughs> manage to avoid the docks. Ah, uh, so many questions, so many questions indeed. Lucas, uh, Ernest, what did you think? Uh, I thought I thought it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fun time. Uh, um, yeah, it's unfortunate a that we dick. didn't get into the catacombs yet. Uh, but I'm hoping that tomorrow morning when we meet up with Sonora, she'll have an alternate entrance. If not, then we'll just go move some more rocks. Fair enough. Uh, Carol, what'd you think? Oh my God. That was, I didn't think you were going to utilize her. I didn't throw her in my original backstory because that's how it was in the day that it was just as much surprise that used her now as it was back then when the GM created her. Um, no, that was amazing. And I love, you know what? I like this type of game as much as I like combat. I love being freaking scared shitless for most of the session. That was great. Freaking we'll see. Ever. You guys went this option instead of this option. So yeah, that happens. Kyle, what'd you think? I don't know. It was good. I was really hoping to uh, to kill those Sensua uh, cultists, but that'll be next chance. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Chris, what you think? Um, did good, didn't die. Uh, took a <laughs> bit of damage, but uh, so there's that. We got that going. Very good. Uh, folks at home, uh, sorry that there wasn't any combat, but we hope you enjoyed it. I, I know I did. Uh, I think these guys did as well. Uh, a lot of questions. That just means you're going to have to show up for our next uh, next. I these guys follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want some of our cool crap uh it's there if you want to chat with us on discord it is there if you want a seat at the table for either the game or the talk show m hobo inc either at twitter or gmail let us know uh thanks again for pirate dog dice for giving taryn damn loaded dice and thanks again to odd fish games who still has a little bit of room in their gen con offering uh so go ahead and look for sphinx in the search bar and you will find them uh, their first two offerings sold out so they added a third just because they love you for all of us here at murder hobo inc 
thanks for watching. Uh, come join us. I mean, you know, you won't fuck it up too bad. Uh, let's uh, everybody uh, cough into our hand, wash our hands, and wear our masks so we can all get to Halloween and wear masks. So, bye everybody. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday night. <laughs>